Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL Series Episode 79. We're going to be looking at multiple objects, each with their own transformations. And so let's jump right in. So everything is mostly the same in our state setup. When we get down to our cube here, you can see everything is pretty normal until we get to the draw. And you'll recognize this code as being the regular draw code from uh, the global function. We'll jump back to that in just a moment. Well, let's see what else has changed here. We still have our read and our write. We're initializing our state with light. You're going to see we have a lot of cubes here. And now, rather than just passing the selection color in, we're going to pass the selection color for each, and each is going to be distinct. We're also going to set a few other things, such as translation and scale and angle, uh, rather than we're just going to use rotation, but we're going to set the angle. Uh, so we'll rotate that one by 35 degrees on the uh, Y, and this one 75 on the X. So we'll have four objects there. You'll see them in a moment. And you'll see here as we loop through, we're just going to call draw on each object. And that was pushed above. So you'll see exactly what that happens above. And then all of our selection and everything else is the same. So when we go ahead and initialize this, we have the options set as per usual. And when we go ahead and see here, you can say we're going to set angle. That's the ops.angle. Otherwise, it's zero. And then in our draw here. So we're going to get the MVP matrix and the model matrix and the normal matrix for the uniforms. We're going to have a global state of MVP. We're going to render the buffers for this. And as per usual, we need its own model matrix for every single object. We're going to say if there's any options for translation, let's go ahead and translate it. We're going to scale we're going to scale. Now remember order matters because if we scale it and then translate it, it's going to be scaled based off of or translated based off the scaled version. So we're going to translate first. Finally, if we have an x, a y or a z angle change, we're going to change each of those distinctively. Uh, you could use the shorthand, but it might not end up being exactly what you think it should be. And then finally here, we're going to go ahead and set that model matrix and all the rest of this is the same. You might note that the state angle is a little bit different, so when I go ahead and show you the program, we'll take a look at how the object selection works to make that different. So here's all of our cubes now, and you can see we can rotate each of them distinctively from each other. You can see the lighting is good and different. If we go ahead and change our eye position, you can see where the light exactly is and how it shows up just a little bit better from the center there. So, but how do we make sure that the angle and everything is selected as proper? Let's go back down to our uh, picking code. And you can see that what we're going to do is we're going to set everything into the read state, per usual, and we're going to compute the object. And then finally, what we're going to do here is under the, uh, if we have a, an object selected, we're going to just go ahead and set a state for which object is selected. Super easy with JavaScript here. And then finally, in our mouse move, we're going to update the specific angle of the selected object's state. So we'll have the global state of the application, find the object selected, grab its state, and then update its angles like we previously would on the global level. Uh, if we left it on the global level, uh, when we rotated a, a cube, we would have ended up rotating all of them. So this allows each of them to maintain their own state, get translated, and do their own thing in a really, really easy way. Uh, so that's it for this episode. If you liked what you saw today, give me a like and a subscribe. That'll help me on YouTube a lot. Share this on social media, if you will. Go to programmingtil.com and send it for my newsletter and follow me on Twitter. Have a great one. Thanks.